Well, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. What's going on, dude? Hey, dude. Doing? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet finally. you. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you in videos for yeah, I've a long time. I've seen you in videos for like three or four years. Yeah, <laughs> now it's yeah. cool. Dude, nice, nice to meet you. Sir. Do you live out of this thing now? Yeah, for the last three weeks, yeah. Last three weeks. Guys, he travels. <laughs> this is Maverick, for those nice. of you guys who don't know. And he travels all around the country. Have you been to all or like 48 states oh no not like not like sb no i haven't done all 48 but okay I've, I've been what in seven states in the last three weeks oh nice yeah. nice just traveling fishing yeah. can i see this setup this looks sweet this has been my home for the last three weeks it's uh it's a little messy right now but oh yeah we understand <laughs> yeah when you live in there but this is your garage this basically my garage. yeah so there's there's dirty dishes in there there's fresh water we got it a net yeah. you got everything so he has his fly stuff in here he has all of his clothes on this side you have everything he has, even has a snowboard in here guys this is a snowboard if you want to stop and do any of that <laughs> i didn't get to stop on this trip but you know maybe in the future uh -huh. come on around to the back this is like my all my storage up here i've got a chainsaw in case it's you know, oh. like a tree down on the road uh, recovery boards, extra gas for when out in the boonies and might not have gas. Rod tube, and then this is actually my shower. This is your shower? Yeah, so I can hook up an air compressor to this, and I can have pressurized water. And since it's black, it actually heats up in the sun, so it's somewhat hot. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, there's your shower is in. Oh, you have a video on? Oh, he has a video on that works if you guys uh, want to see that. So then here's this. So this is my uh, this is my sleeping quarters. Took me a couple days to build it. I'm by no means a carpenter, so. <laughs> That's crazy. So he sleeps right there, and then you have these drawers that pull out. Yeah, what is in? Do you mind if I look, look yeah. in it? Oh, this is all your cook. Guys, his kitchen is right here. All his cooking stuff. Oh, that's cool. I have that same set. I just got that for crawdads. That's right, dude. Whoa! No, that, good grief. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, a, a grill and yeah. all kinds of stuff. We even have a culinary set here. Some ceramic knives for when you're on the road. <laughs> yeah, dude, that is crazy. Can we look at this one? Yeah. That one's not as interesting. It's just all my uh, clothes. Just all your clothes. Okay, so you, gosh, you can live out of this whole thing. And it, is that, what do we got here? That's a fridge. So this is uh, this keeps all my food cold. It's in a thermal bag, and this is uh, hooked up to a 12 volt battery. And I got salmon fillets in here. I've got a blue fish. I don't even know what the heck this is called. I caught it in California. It's got blue meat, and I'm gonna do a catch and cook on that. Oh, weird. Yeah, I've heard of the blue fish. In yeah, blue fish meat. that's really way weird. cool. And then some some Reese's. Reese's. That is crazy. So you just travel wherever you want fish? Yeah. Road life, man. Road life. Well, guys, let's get down to the river now, and we're going to do some trout fishing, crawdad hunting. All right, guys, first spot of the day. Nice little shallow, fast spot. And you can't see it at the moment, but there is a long, well, you, you guys can see it. There's a long pipe that crosses. And on the other side of the long pipe, there's this deep pool. A lot of trout just hang out in this, uh, in this area. I'm starting off the day with this MEPS spinner. Guys, this is <laughs> this is like the most classic bait of all time. A MEPS number one spinner. It's on a four pound leader. I have a little, uh, um, s what do they call that? Swivel? <laughs> Swivel on there so it doesn't twist. But a nice four pound leader because the water's very clear right now and these trout are very sensitive to line. And uh, so. Hopefully we'll get some. First cast of the day. I always got to announce the first cast. <laughs> got one. Got one. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Got one. Oh, it's a big one. Guys, guys, guys. I got a big one. I got a big one. Yeah, dude. I got a big one. Oh, guys. Guys, wait till you see this. I th oh, wait. Maybe it sounds... No, no. It's a good size. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a brown trap. It's a big brown trap. It's a big brown trap. Oh, dude, big brown trap. Yeah, I think I've got him. Oh, it's hooked right on his nose. I gotta be careful. Oh my gosh. I just gotta, I gotta play him because it's right on the tip of his nose. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna haul him up here. Oh, wait, wait, okay, okay. I'm gonna eat him, so I'm gonna put my fingers in his gills. Oh. Got him, dude. dude that is nice. what I'm talking about. 
guys, look at that, dude. I'm gonna, my subscribers been asking for a brown trout catch and cook. Guys, you got it. I've not caught a brown trout that big. You know, I have caught ones bigger than this, but it's been a few years. We're gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I think I'm gonna bleed them right now. Thanks, Mav. Mav gave me this, that's a wicked looking knife. We're gonna yeah, bleed them right now, guys. All right, guys, bapped them on the head. Now we just cut the gills right here. Bleed them out in the water. <laughs> that is amazing. This is probably the second biggest brown trout I've ever caught in my life. I did catch one that was, it was a beast when I was a teenager. And it's funny because it's only about like probably 50 yards from here or so. And uh, so I did have caught bigger ones, but this is my second biggest one. And you guys have been asking for a brown trout catch and cook for a while. So here we go, the very first one on my channel ever. That's a good fish. Just for the record, guys, let's measure this bad boy. Right at, looks like a tad over 17 inches. Caught it, guys, this is the most classic trout lure of all time. My dad used these when he was younger, a little MEPS spinner. That is fantastic. All right, guys, here we come to a rope swing. You can see right there. It's so nice because nobody's here right now because it's still uh, late morning and it's cloudy outside. So we're gonna try fish in front of this. I normally don't get to fish in front of here because there's so many people. All right, this is nice. Fish in this spot. Got one. Nice. Oh, he crushed. I thought it was a lot bigger than that at first, just the way he crushed it. It's a little tyke. You got one too? Mav has one too. Guys, we got doubles. Sweet. A little rainbow. Yeah, this is so small. I'm just gonna bring them over. Let's see how they compare. Doubles. <laughs> Nice. Sweet. Sweet. Um, now they have to be 14 inches to keep okay. in this section. Oh, that one's close. Looks like it might be at 12 or 13. Okay. We, I have a, I'll measure them. Your first Idaho trout. Yeah, my first Idaho trout. My first fish ever in Idaho. Sweet. Come on, you little. Yeah. A little short. Maybe a few inches short. All right. So 10 and a half. Well, nice. It's all right. Got the skunk out of the. Uh huh. Dude, I had another to so smack it right in the middle again. It's interesting. I've gotten some mites. Ooh, the trout just jumped right there. You know, when they're flicking on the surface, that's a really good sign. Guys, if you come down to any trout river and you see that there, there's like this little f tail flick on the surface where the trout are eating bugs and stuff off the top, you know the fishing's gonna be good. Got one. Another one. Uh huh. Oh, there's. Oh, he just came off. There was a big stick in the water floating down. He came off. That big stick got in my way. I was like, how am I gonna get around that? I don't think it was big enough to keep anyway. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, dude, I got smacked. I set the, oh, look, he's still jumping out there. He still thinks he's hooked. I got screamed. Oh, he's still, <laughs> he's still jumping. That is crazy. Um, I set the hook way too hard. I got too, <laughs> too excited. Guys, we got our first floaters of the day. There'll be a lot more by the time that goes on. I'm gonna show Maverick how to catch crawdads for his very first crawdad boil. Heck yeah. Really easy. Just find a big rock, get the stick off, and we just slowly flip it over. And nothing under that one. Go to another one. Ah, we got one here. Yep. Oh, he almost pinched me. I just had to grab him blind. I had to grab him blind, he's about to pinch me. Oh, he's a soft one. So he just molted. Just molted. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Sweet. Got our first crawdad, guys. Pretty day. good sized one. That's pretty good size. That was another. Guys, we just, I thought my camera was on, it wasn't. We just caught this itty bitty teeny <laughs> tiny one. Hey, do you want to try him for on a hook? Yeah, let's do All it. All right, let's do it. Gosh, it's been a while since I've actually caught one this small. I only saw him because he's against the sand. We have a tiny little hook. Just barely hooking through the tail. There we go. Little crayfish on a hook. Let's try that. You want to try this little crawdad, bro? You're the guest. If you want to, I do this stuff all the time. If you want to try them. <laughs> just okay. So it's a deep spot right here. Just cast and let the current, like kind of like, just take it down. There's no sinker on it. Okay. Let the current take it down and he'll be flicking the trout will trout will see him. Right. They just face in the current waiting for anything to float down. 
Oh, too nice. Guys, right away. Mav. Oh, wow. oh, it. oh, it's a squawfish. It's a squawfish. Dude, we'll have that to feed me. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. So this is squawfish. <laughs> I've never even seen one of these. Well, lost our bait, but we got, we got food for the mink. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we'll get it. Hopefully get a mink come up, visit us again. Well, that was fast action. Mav catches one on the live crawl. I'm going to throw my spinner out there. Let's see if we can get rainbow or something cool. Got one. I got one on the spinner. Oh, nice. It's a, I don't know, either rainbow or brown. Oh, nice. Rainbow. Woo. Sweet. Look at that on that map. Oh, is this a wild, this is red, red fins. Guys, this is a wild one, I think. Yep. Yep, we got a wild trout. There we go. Meps out. Guys, look how gorgeous this trout is. Cool. Oh, he just pooped on me. Nice. Let's get a release on this one. All right, guys. So I've come to the spot. It's a little point here. See how the current's pretty, uh, it's pretty rush, rushing through here pretty fast. And uh, I've always, not always, but a lot of times, I've caught a real nice trout fishing this little point here. Seems like maybe the little bit bigger, more aggressive trout sometimes. Oh, got one, right, right first cast. Sometimes they hang out in, uh, in the places where the current's faster. Nice, not a big one, but another just gorgeous little trout. Look how beautiful. Oh, that's, just, oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he goes. Shoot. Oh man, but that's cool. Alright guys, so I switched to a little night crawler for this spot. Even though they've been they have been crushing the spinner, but the sun is out. And I noticed that they weren't following the spinner up as much. They're just kind of laying on the bottom looking at it. So switch the old worm. Maybe it's because that sun has come out. You guys, Mav, I've never seen this before. He just caught uh, one of these uh, gobbies, I think they are, on a worm. I've never seen somebody actually catch one on a rod and reel before. That is crazy. Look at him flare his gills out, dude. They got like some crazy hard faces. That's cool, dude. Well, we'll let him go and hopefully a trout will get him as a snack. Yeah. But if they're feeding on those things in here, they're gonna get super big. Yeah, they are. Guys, check out his channel. I'll put a link to it in the description below. All right, guys, we are pausing the fishing to try to catch a few craws. Let's see if there's any under this big rock. Yeah, it is. Uh, they, I think they, they get ripped off in fights and stuff like oh, that. Oh, really? That's a good eater, though. Yeah. Let's add him to the kitch. Cool. Guys, we got three. Got to get a few more. All right, guys. My brother Micah has joined us. He has his wetsuit on. He's going to uh, drop in the water. We're going to a new spot. And uh, just walking through the trees here. Got a little stream right here. And then it leads to the main river. All right, guys, we are back on the worm drop right here. Let's see what we got. Got some good crawlers going. These are way too big. Then we're running out of red tiger worms, which is normally what we love for trout. But uh, so we're just going to pinch one of these night crawlers in half. 
and keep going with that thing here we go right in that fast stuff boom let's throw it out there big trap come on big trap oh we're getting a bite getting a bite oh oh missed him missed him I've seen underwater footage, actually underwater footage I've taken myself of trout, and they come over and they'll bite a worm, but they don't swallow it right away. They like bite it, then they kind of turn it around their mouth, turn it around their mouth before they uh, finally eat it. So you can miss, miss them on the old night crawler. Oh, oh, bite, bite, bite. Got one. Not, oh, it's a, not a bad fish. Not a bad one. Nice. Another beautiful rainbow. It's a little stalker. Ah, oh, shoot. He really swallowed that thing. Dang it. Uh, well, we'll keep this guy too as we're eating rainbow. You know, Maverick doesn't have a keeper yet. I'm sure he'll get one by the end of the day. But we are out of the zone where the trout... Come on, you squirmy. There we go. We are out of the zone where you have to... Uh, they have to be 14 inches. So we can keep this guy. He's about 10 or 11. Come on. Oh, that's one thing I'm so annoying about trout. It's so hard to grab them. So there we go. We had another trout to the catch of the day. Let's get some more crawdads. There was a big old brownie. Uh, a ton out. of trout? What? Well, I might a ton of trout right here. Yeah, there are. Wow. But they're down there. You guys, Mike is handline fishing. I'll put a link to his video in the description as well. So check out Maverick's video and Mike's video. There we go. Nice Hand 12 Underwater inch. handline fishing. Nice Woo. job, bro. Sweet. Well, guys, good time fishing and crawdadding. But now it is cooking time. We've got catch of the day in there. And then we've got the uh, brown trout back in the cooler since we caught that this morning. Let's get cooking. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Mav's kitchen. <laughs> well, not yet, here. Ah, now here we go. Now welcome to here. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. Kitchen's open for business. You wanna use my stove or you wanna use yours? Um, you know, we can use yours and we'll okay. use my uh, pot for crawdad oil. Sounds good. So we have the little stove set up rolling here and we're gonna boil up some water for the crawdads first. And uh, while the water's boiling, we'll probably uh, go down and clean the fish down the riverside. But while we're waiting, we will add to the water. Mav's never done a crawdad boil, so first time. I usually just am very generous with the salt. That's the key, one of the real keys to get this tasting good. And then we add some lemon juice for some zest. And of course, Zatarain's shrimp and crab boil. We're gonna get going a little bit crazy too here. We got some Everglades season. I've actually never done this with crawdads. This is a gift um, from one of my subscribers, Mike, who they said deer meat for dinner uses it all the time. And I'm just gonna put a bunch of Everglades. It says all purpose, so it must be for everything. Just add some of that to the water. We'll have good spiced water there. Guys, the water is boiled and we got the crawdads already right here. Just take, oh look, he's holding on to his friend. 
Let's take the little lobsters. Is he gonna drop his friend in? He's holding on for dear life. <laughs> it's like, my life is in your hands, man. Don't drop me. He literally has the tip of his foot. Well, we'll just drop him in together. <laughs> he dropped him at the last <laughs> He second. dropped him at the last second. He's like, save yourself. This is a Mongo one, oh, but he's so a soft one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 14, 15, and see, we'll each have eight. Three. Just stir them around. Look, some of them are already, look, this is the one that has so that was soft. It hardly has any shell and it's already red. Compared to this, these ones that have a really hard shell, they're not red yet. That's crazy. Wow. Ooh, looking red hot. These, you know, maybe, guys, when the, you know they're ready, when the carapace at the back there and the, the the back start they start to come apart a little bit then you know they're done they probably need just a minute or two more but they are looking fine i love that red i love to see like red crawdads that's just so cool no. <laughs> he's ready to get eaten <laughs> yeah <laughs> get you Man, spice. the spice in the <laughs> air dude i gotta put that back <laughs> Guys, Mike just got done with his day. Guys, check out his video. He found another phone in the river. If you guys have been following, what what number of phone is That's it? That's three on the year, bro. Three phones on the year. Check out his video. Holy mackerel. And those sunglasses. Wow. Yeah. Whilst the crawdads are boiling, I'm gonna go down the river and let's clean these fish. What we're gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna lay this little, uh, this is a Mavericks pike minnow. And we'll lay that right there. Some mink will come along and eat them up. Oh man, I am excited to try some brown trout. It has been years, guys. Years since I've done this. Check it out, it was a female. Got all the eggs right there. Guys, look at how pink that meat is. This, I, I just tell you right now, this is gonna be delicious. First, the way we're gonna prepare these trout is pour some butter in there. And I'm going to use for the rainbow trout the Wooded Beardsman's Wadobo seasoning. And we're going to throw in the butter on this side. We're actually going to put uh, some, there we go, put some on the bottom. And we're going to lay a little rainbow right in there. For the brown trout, you got Everglade seasoning. going to lay right there. i got to get some of that butter around to this side. Lay a nice big filet. Ooh, right? Ooh, ooh. Mm. You know what? And I'm going to... I'm just seasoning the inside of this bad boy right now. Woo! Get it in all that good butter. That good pink meat in there. We're gonna flip this trout. Ooh, golden brown and crispy. A little lemon on this side. Mmm. And then, look, check this out. You guys can tell, see how the fish, this half is cooked, this half is still raw. You can just tell by uh, the color that it changes. Just cook that side. Oh man, look how that skin is golden brown. This guy, this is, oh, I'm excited. Okay, excited. Take this guy off, we're gonna overcook him. And let this guy just about, he's just about cooked. Add that layer of seasoning. Start, I've just started to do this, guys, and it's really worked out well. You head it out, Micah? You gotta try a little bit of brown trout oh, before you go. I was hoping you'd say something. Brother. Yeah, try bro. the brown trout because we were just talking we, we we've kind of cooked brown trout when we were kids yeah but it's been years well they're kind of they're you know it's probably like 10 to 1 you know rainbow you, to brown trout yeah brown exactly trout. that's true so they're a little, a little more difficult to catch what are the seasonings bro everglades oh solid Ooh, getting some lemon popping right out you know, maybe on the un uh, top side, you need just a tad more. I didn't go that crazy with it. Mm. Dude, I'm gonna get a little skin here. That's fantastic. Getting the lemon, getting all the seasonings coming with it. And get a piece of that skin. Guys, the crispy skin mm. is one of the best parts of that whole thing. Oh yeah. Dude, that's fantastic, thank you. You are welcome. That's delicious. Mm. It's been a while since I've had brown chow. Yeah, it's been a long time. That's amazing, amazing. 
So Maverick just had his first crawdad guy. <laughs> guys, you like him? Dude, it is so good. It is so good. Yeah. If you wanted to see that, guys, check out his video in the description. Um, I would say a quick prayer before my meal. Just that's what I do. Sorry. No, 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 you're fine. No, 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 any, no, no problem at all. But Amen. All right, brown trout. Guys, the last time I tried brown trout, I had to be like 16 or 17, I think. Right. Yeah. Dude, brown trout's good. I think it was probably the first trout I've ever eaten. Fresh what? Out, fresh out of Lake Superior. Brown trout was. Oh, brown trout? Oh, yeah, oh, oh I see. specific one. Oh, I was mm -hmm. like, what? No, no I've like, had trout before. No, I was like, I don't think I've seen no, catching be... cooks on your channel. Because <laughs> he likes catching cooks. He has, has catching cooks, too. <laughs> I saw you one like you made one of your like, fish tacos. <laughs> yeah. That was with walleye, but... Walleye fish tacos? Mm-hmm. That's one thing we lack in Idaho? Our walleye. There's one walleye lake like three hours from me and another one like eight hours from me. So I'm got to them. Now, pink meat. Very good. It's just slightly different than a rainbow trout. Not a whole lot of difference though. I have to say, it's, if I describe the flavor, it's really rich. That's the first word that comes to mind. Whereas rainbow can be like, just like light, flaky, tasty meat. This has a robust, rich flavor. It's almost like super, like fattier. Yeah, it's like can, fattier. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Like it's, it's more like... The meat's just fattier. Not like mushy, but like, it's like, I don't know, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavier. Mm -hmm. So if, that, if I could describe it, since I can't like share some with you guys, <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. Eat it through the camera. <laughs> Try harder. And we're gonna look, guys, look at this. This is kind of strange. So I have here, one of the crawdads I caught was really soft. And look, his pinchers like almost gone completely flat. He had no meat in his pincher while we were boiling him. And he's just like all wrinkly and stuff. Like, not really sure. Just wrinkly. I'm just gonna try eating it with a shell. Yeah, totally edible, even with the shell on. Because the shell's just. It's like a little bit chewier, chewier, but it's just like as soft as the meat is. That's weird. Does it have any more flavor? Not really. No? It just tastes like the other ones. Huh. You'd I'm think just... that with the softer shell, it would, it would absorb more of the spice. You know, let me try another one. Mm. That was pretty spicy. And if the spice to a, of a regular one, because you might be right on that. Because it is pack a punch, but I don't know how much Zatarain was the first crowd out I tried. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. That one actually wasn't as spicy. Yeah, so that one must have been. So it did more. absorb a little yeah. bit more. That's crazy. When you catch the soft craws, you can just yeah, eat them. So crazy. So if you guys want to know how the day went, um, here's a crayfish that I caught. Okay? <laughs> and here's one that Ace got. I, I think I found a total of three today. And That's not better for your first try. <laughs> and we had like 18. <laughs> so... Just gotta hand it to this guy. Thank you so much for taking me out and oh, showing welcome. me the way of the road because I don't know if I'd have been able to do it by myself. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Well, you just get better and better every yeah. time. Yeah, that was sick. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Well, Mav, hey. it was great hanging out with yeah, you. Yeah, it's been awesome. You guys, we'll probably do another collaboration soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.